Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making this dish. I call it devil ham spread, all right? But first remember to like and share this video and you will get uh, entered into the drawing, but you have to comment shared. And if you have not subscribed, then please subscribe and that will give you uh, your name put in five times. So a long time ago, my mother had made this dish. Uh, probably my husband and I were newly married and my husband really liked it and he had asked me if I would start making it, so I did. Um, it's just very simple. It is so hot here in Missouri today and so I didn't really feel like, you know, heating up the kitchen and cooking anything. So I decided to make this. Now you can use um, devil ham, devil chicken. They make a devil chicken in the same kind of can like a devil ham. You could use chopped up chicken. You could use tuna, you know, make sure you drain the can, just um, any kind of meat basically. And it's just really, really simple. So I'm going to bring you down so you can see what I'm going to do. Okay. Let me see if I can get you in there. Sorry about my hand being in the way. All right, that should get it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cream cheese. You let it come to room temperature. It's just an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Open that up. Let's see if I can get it open here. For some reason, my hands here lately just don't want to cooperate with me. Okay, I have that open. And you just put it in a mixer. And you can mix this by hand, too. You know, you, you say, well, I don't have a mixer. Well, mix it by hand. All right, we got that in there. Scrape all of it off the paper. Don't leave any behind. Then to knit that, next we are going to add um, the devil ham. And this is just the Underwood Devil Ham. Uh, they may, there looks like there's still a little bit of wool on top, so I'm gonna kind of get that off there. They may make a different brand or a cheaper brand. I don't know if they did. I didn't see any at the store. And you try to drain all of that oil um, off as best you can, the oil, the grease, whatever it is. I drain that off as best you can. Then next, sprinkle in. I like a little bit of pepper in mine. You may not. That is just what you prefer. It has enough salt with that meat. Unless you just really like lots of salt, you really won't need any more. And plus, cream cheese has, cheese has some. Then next, I'm going to mix in a little garlic powder. I also like putting green onions in mine, but I am out of those, so I will not be able to put any of those in. Then you just mix it, and I will uh, mute you while I, or take you off while I mix it, and I'll bring it back in a minute. And this is what it looks like afterwards. And what I do is then I put it in a bowl and, you know, you could try different things. Uh, if you like nuts, you can maybe add some nuts to this. If you like, um, uh, like you could add some green pepper to it. You know, you can just play with it and put different things in it you like. But I mainly just like this and the garlic powder, pepper, and green onions if I should happen to have them but I don't have any now. Then just put it in the fridge and let it get cold for a couple of hours and because it does taste 
best if it's cold. All right, let's do a taste test. Bring it up here so you can see. Okay, have you ever tried these yet? They are so delicious. I really, really like them. I'm, my daughter told me, I had some here, my daughter tried them. She told me I got her hooked on them. So they are so good. Mm. And that's really good too. All right, y'all have a wonderful day and I will try to get another video up next week. All right. Y'all take care, and remember to like and share, comment you share to be entered for the drawing. Subscribe if you haven't, and then you will, and write subscribed underneath, and your name will be put in five times, okay? And, and remember to always, always season your cooking with love. Y'all have a good day.